Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Tommy again, here to read you your third story entitled It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown by Charles Schultz. Let's try it. Tiny green leaves fluttered on the trees, sweet little flowers bloomed in the grass. Spring had arrived and Easter was almost here. Charlie Brown and his friends had so much to do to get ready. Marcy arrived at Peppermint Patty's house with a bag full of eggs. She had never made Easter eggs before. You get the eggs ready and I'll mix up all the colors, Peppermint Patty said. Marcy hurried over to the stove and started frying the eggs. Uh, sir? She asked. How do we color the eggs after we fry them? Ah! Uh, Peppermint Patty groaned when she saw the eggs sizzling on the stove. We've got another one of those great holidays coming up, Lucy told Schroeder while he practiced piano. It's a great time of year to start getting things. Schroeder shook his head. It's not time for getting, he replied. It's a time of renewal. It's the start of spring. Wrong, Lucy said. It's the gift getting season. Outside, Woodstock huddled in his nest, soaked and shivering. Spring rainstorms had turned his cozy nest into a chilly swimming pool. Woodstock tried to tell, tell Snoopy what was wrong, but Snoopy couldn't understand him. So Woodstock showed Snoopy the problem by dumping the water from his nest on Snoopy's head. Snoopy didn't appreciate the unexpected shower, but he understood why Woodstock was upset. Something had to be done. <clears throat> Woodstock needed a birdhouse, Sally needed new shoes, and Lucy needed lots of things. We're on our way to the store. We need Easter baskets, eggs, candy, the works. Want to join us? Lucy asked Linus. We don't need to go to all this trouble, Linus said. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle passes colored eggs to all the good little kids. The Easter Beagle? Sally asked. Are you sure, Linus? Of course, Linus replied. But Lucy was not convinced, so off they went to the store. <clears throat> At the store, Charlie Brown and his friends ran into Peppermint Patty and Marcy. Hiya, Chuck, Peppermint Patty said. We're here to get some eggs to color for Easter. I think it's a waste of time to buy and color eggs, Linus insisted, because the Easter Beagle will do all that. Boy, Chuck, Peppermint Patty said, you sure have some strange friends. Let's go in and buy some eggs. Easter Beagle, indeed. As they walked around, the friends marveled at all the holiday displays, but the store wasn't decorated for Easter. It was ready for Christmas. It's Easter and they already have the Christmas decorations up, Sally exclaimed. Good grief, Charlie Brown groaned. I can't believe it, Linus said. I told you, Lucy replied. It's the gift-getting season. While Sally picked out a pair of new shoes, Snoopy wandered through the store until he came to the candy department. There he found the first sign of Easter in the entire building, beautiful sugar Easter eggs. When he peeked inside, Snoopy saw some bunnies. Then he imagined that he was inside the egg too, dancing with all the bunnies. After Snoopy left the candy department, he bought a new birdhouse for Woodstock, but when he got home, Woodstock didn't fit through the entrance. So Snoopy drilled a larger hole that was just Woodstock's size. Then Woodstock decided that he didn't like the plain wooden birdhouse. Snoopy was running out of patience. He put Woodstock inside and hoped that the little bird would learn to like it. When they finished shopping, Linus went to Sally's house. Every Easter, the Easter Beagle comes dancing along with his basket full of eggs, which he hands out to all the good little children, he told them. That sounds faintly familiar, Sally replied. I remember sitting out in the stupid pumpkin patch all night waiting for the great pumpkin to come. That was the worst night of my life. This is different, Linus said. The Easter Beagle will never let you down. Back at Peppermint Patty's house, Marcy remembered what she had learned. Easter eggs. 
were not supposed to be fried. So Marcy decided to use the waffle iron. When she closed the lid on the eggs, ooey gooey egg whites oozed everywhere. Next, Marcy tried the, the toaster, but the eggs didn't fit in the slot. So Marcy put the rest of the eggs in the oven and turned up the heat. When Peppermint Patty realized what Marcy had done, there was just one thing she could say. Ah. On their way back to the store, Marcy and Peppermint Patty saw Linus. Hi, where are you two going in such a hurry? He asked. We keep running out of eggs, Peppermint Patty said. We're, you're making a mistake, Linus replied. The Easter Beagle will take care of it all. Look, I'm having enough trouble without your fantastic stories, Peppermint Patty told him. Come on, Marcy, let's go get another dozen eggs. It's a waste of time, Linus called after them. When Snoopy visited Woodstock later, he heard lots of construction noises coming from the birdhouse. Snoopy could hardly believe how much it had changed. Woodstock's birdhouse looked so nice that Snoopy tried to go inside, too. But he was too big. The birdhouse broke into pieces. Snoopy felt so bad that he went right back to the store to get a new birdhouse for Woodstock. Oops. After they bought more eggs, Peppermint Patty told Marcy, these eggs are not to be fried, nor are they to be roasted, toasted, or waffled. These eggs have to be boiled. Yes, sir, Marcy replied. She filled the pot with water and put it on the stove. Then Marcy cracked open each egg and poured it into the pot. When the water started boiling, Peppermint Patty sniffed the air. That's funny, it smells like soup, she said. Then she looked into the pot and said, groaning, Ah, oh, Marcy, you've made egg soup. We've ruined three dozen eggs and we don't have any colored yet, Peppermint Patty told Charlie Brown. How am I going to teach my friend here about Easter and coloring eggs when I can't get any eggs to color? Don't worry about it, Linus said. The Easter Beagle will bring it Easter eggs to all the little kids. Kid, I hope you're right, Peppermint Patty replied. I don't want my little friend here to be disappointed. She won't be, Linus promised. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle will brighten everyone's day. Linus' own sister wasn't counting on the Easter Beagle, though. Lucy had colored a whole basket full of eggs. It's really a waste of time, Linus said. The Easter Beagle does that. Leave me alone, Lucy said. Easter is very simple. You paint the eggs, you hide the eggs, and you find the eggs. And you know who's going to find the eggs? Me, because I'm the one who's going to hide them. But Lucy didn't know that Snoopy was following her. Whenever she hid an egg, he picked it up. Easter morning dawned with a beautiful pink sky, but Charlie Brown and his friends were miserable. Well, Marcy, I'm really sorry, Peppermint Patty said. It here is here it is, Easter morning, and we don't have any colored eggs. I've been sitting here since dawn waiting for the Easter Beagle, Sally yelled at Linus. Where is he? I don't know why I always listen to you. Never trust a man with a blanket. I know why they have holidays, Charlie Brown said to himself. They have holidays so people can get together and have fun. So why am I alone? But one person was still excited about Easter. This is going to be the greatest Easter egg hunt ever, Lucy announced, and I'm going to find them all. Suddenly, the Easter beagle came dancing along, carrying a basket filled with beautiful Easter eggs. Is it? Linus gasped. <gasps> it is. He's coming. He's coming. The Easter Beagle is coming. The Easter Beagle gave Easter eggs to Peppermint Patty and Marcy. He gave one to Linus, one to Sally, and one to Schroeder. Then the Easter Beagle shook Lucy's hand and gave her a special egg, too. Lucy thought the egg looked awfully familiar. But when the Easter Beagle reached Charlie Brown, he was all out of eggs.
Poor Charlie Brown. What do we do with Easter eggs now that we have them, sir? Asked Marcy. We put a little salt on them and we eat them, Peppery Patty said. Marcy sprinkled some salt onto her egg. Then she bit into it, shell and all. The eggshell crunched between her teeth. Tastes terrible, sir, Marcy said as she gulped it down. See, Sally said to Lucy, Linus was right. There is an Easter Beagle. Some Easter Beagle, Lucy scoffed. He gave me my own egg. She marched over to Snoopy's doghouse and yelled, All right, Beagle, come down and we'll have it out. But Snoopy didn't want to fight. He stood on tiptoe and gave Lucy a kiss on her cheek. Then he scampered away, leaving Lucy with a big smile on her face. Ah, she said, the Easter Beagle. The end, my friends. That is the end of our story for now. Until next time.